Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hey, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch The Witcher Season 3, Episode 6, and also today is Episode 7 and the Episode 8 with you, guys. If you are watching this on YouTube, if you are discovering this video on YouTube, just know that on my Patreon, they already have my reactions and my thoughts about all of these three episodes of the second part of the season three. If you can be interested by that, you have that kind of advance on my Patreon and you have also extended reaction parts. It's long episodes, so I don't think that I'm gonna put four reaction parts, so you just have to subscribe to the level two if you're interested to support me, to come on my Patreon, even just for The Witcher, just a level two, it's enough. Okay, let's go for this second part of the season three. Let's say that I'm excited to discover what we're gonna have into it because, you know, thinking again about the first part of the season three, I was like, okay, it was cool, we were back, we spent good time with our characters and we had some good moments, like clearly to have Geralt and Yennefer coming back together little by little, I mean, not little by little, but finally at the end, to have that moment with them, you know, into the bed being so, so beautiful, you know, and so nice with each other, so sweet with each other. It was cool. We have Siri who learns stuff with Yennefer, who wants to learn more. We spend time also with Yaskia, who has a new boyfriend. Okay, not everything is all right right there because clearly that guy can be a rat, a snitch, like. <laughs> can turn wrong really easily and even more with how the last episode ended. I'm going to come back to that. So we had a lot of good moments, a lot of good stuff which happened. So now we're going to go for the bad stuff. I really think so. Like right there they arrested the wrong guy and I knew it. I said it in the beginning that it was too easy to suspect Strigobar like that. It was really too easy. He was a perfect suspect and all like Okay, the guy is an asshole, but it's not because of that that he would prepare all of that, all of this plan against theory and all. No, I knew that it was Virgo Fort, and even more because of all of his relationship with Tisaya, because of all of that story about the bracelet, like the fact that they talked about it at multiple occasions, I was like, hmm, something is wrong right there. And some little things that he said, in particular to Geralt, it felt like we had subtitles, you know, into it. So I knew it, I felt it. So now they know, they know that they arrested the wrong guy. Clearly there is an attack going on into the place with all of this meeting and all, it really is a good time to make an attack like that. And we have theory, we're supposed to be safe, you know, out there, guarded, by Yaskia, but we know that Yaskia met his boyfriend, you know, right there, like, suddenly he appeared right there, like, I love you, my dear, and I love that you love that guy, but the fact that you're not asking the question about why are you here, you know, what is going on right there, the fact that you're not wondering about it, I think that it's a mistake, and I think that Bill Gofors, he also planned something to, to have Siri right there. So normally, you know, these three episodes, bad stuff, bad stuff are gonna happen. Right there with this attack, with Siri who can be kidnapped. We know that we have also a father who is still around and who wants her back. And we had really just a little of him when he was really the big reveal of the end of the season two. So for me, we need to spend more time with him during this season, during these three final episodes. I want really more of him. Maybe through Kaya, you know, and none of what is going on with him. We know that he has that mission to have Siri and that he has also that connection with the girl. So how it's gonna be, when it's gonna be, 
For me, maybe not this episode, but the two next ones. Like truly for me, these three episodes, we need to have big stuff, we need to have bad stuff. And that's it. Like clearly, I'm not really optimist about <laughs> the mood of these three last episodes. Because the first part, when I think about it again, was too optimist, was too shiny, was too great for our characters. It's not okay, you know. For the Witcher, for the situation, it's not okay. It's not enough. Oh, and we have to remember also that these three last episodes are the last ones with Henry Cavill, you know, playing a role. After that, we're gonna have another guy, the guy from Hunger Games. <laughs> It's Liam Hemsworth. I hope that I'm pronouncing his name right. I know that a lot of fans are mad at it because they want Henry Cavill and for them, the fact that he's leaving, it's really like, that's it. It's the end of The Witcher. I'm not gonna watch it anymore after that. It's not my case. Like I'm gonna leave to the other guy the benefits of the doubt. Maybe he's gonna do a great job with it. The fact that Henry Cavill, he left, clearly it was for Superman and turned out that it was not a good decision at all. But the fact that he left for that reason, but saying that he was also not okay with the direction that the show was taking, he, it influenced, you know, all of the fans of the books and the game who were already not so happy with some changes, you know, that the show made. So they had the impression that Henry Kerber was just approving that and was leaving because it was really getting too bad. Maybe it's the case, but there is also the reason of Superman behind that, a financial reason. Turned out that he took a bad decision, but uh, it's like that, you know? And yes, just for the new guy, I'm not gonna be like, no, that's it, I don't want to watch The Witcher after this season three, like, it would be really unfair for him, the fact that we are denying this show now, we're not gonna watch it anymore just because it's not the same guy. For him, for this actor, it seems a little unfair. I want to, to give him the benefits of the doubt to see what he's gonna do with this character. You know it, I talked about it during the intros of the first episode, I think, of this season 3. The thing that I'm only worried about, it's how it's gonna be with Yennefer, with this actress, like clearly what I appreciate for Geralt and Yennefer, it's their chemistry and I have the impression that it's gonna be hard to create the same chemistry with a new actor. So that's really the part that I'm worried about, about how he's gonna play Geralt. But I'm gonna continue to watch The Witcher, I'm gonna give him the benefits of the doubt. I think that it's also easier for me because I'm not a fan of the books and I'm not a fan of the game, so I don't have all of these things about they made big changes, I'm not okay with it. I don't have that and I can understand fans who are like that, who are mad at it, but I think that it's still a little unfair for this actor to just reject him just like that reject the show, reject the choices, you know, that these writers, they made, but don't, you know, take the fact that it's going to be a different actor as really the big reason why you're not going to watch this show anymore. You're not going to watch it anymore because you don't like the direction that the show is taking, but for that actor, it's a little unfair. It's not him, you know, it's not because of him. That's at least how I'm feeling. Okay, I'm gonna stop this intro. Let's go for this episode 6. Like I said, remember that if you want to have my Patreon on which you can have these episodes already, these three episodes of the second part, and you have them with an extended direction part, which is really longer because you know it's long episodes. So if you can be interested to have these advantages and also to support me, it could be great. Let's go for this episode. <laughs> So I'm a prisoner. We're only here for natures. Holding you is more of a courtesy. No. Fine. I'll comply. Sure.
He's not fighting right now, Geralt, because he knows that against an army is not enough. But I'm pretty sure that he's gonna prepare something. And that was for you. Come on, Yennefer. You're clever, my dear. And you know the place. Wait, you accepted to sleep with him, thinking that he would betray you? Like to you, we never loved you. I'm so sorry. 
or easy to fall. Ilgafort, please. Please do not do this. Or to say I'm such a failure of judgment. Only with you! I know that he implied other stuff right there. No! Only with you. Don't you dare hurt her or do anything to her. Tomorrow. This is our home. Let's fight with you. For you. 